There are seven seals, and healing in the seventh hour. Out of Judea into Galilee, a certain nobleman had a son sick at Capernaum, and besought the prophet to heal his son. As the nobleman was now going down, his servants met him, and told him, saying, Thy son liveth. Then inquired he of them the hour when he began to amend. And they said unto him, Yesterday at the seventh hour the fever left him. So the father knew that it was at the same hour, in the which the prophet said unto him, Thy son liveth, and himself believed, and his whole house, have joy and gladness, and rejoice, for the kingdom has come. Turn the disobedient to the wisdom of the just, to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. God hath hope in his servant Israel, in remembrance of his mercy, as he spake to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his seed forever. My heart rejoiceth in the Lord, mine horn is exalted in the Lord, my mouth is enlarged over mine enemies, because I rejoice in thy salvation. The lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book, and to loose the seven seals thereof. In the right hand of him that sits on the throne is a book written within and on the backside, sealed with seven seals. The God of creation will restore sovereignty to the tribes of Native America, and restore their lands. He expands the provision for whomever he wills. Surely in this are signs for people who believe. Seek his presence and be prosperous. This is April Shell Ties, using the computer to generate this message. This is Rome, and they decided to put me down. So far I survived, but you might not, if you fall into their trap. There is a secret out there, that they don't want you to know. Hypnosis is being used against you daily, and a hypnotist can control you. They only need to grab a hold of you, and now they control you from a distance. They can even hold conversations with you on the astral plane, which some people call the realm of thought, or the spirit realm. The well-known science of the mind author Joseph Murphy calls it the subconscious mind. Stay away from astral plane conversations. God does not talk to you. He talked with Moses, and gave Moses his law. God does not crack jokes or hold conversations with you. That's a human, impersonating a deity, on the astral plane, but it's really a human who's going to cause you damage. These people are into genocide, and they are the same people who practice genocide against Jews, Africans, Native Americans, and more. Don't have conversations on the astral plane. Stay in God's word. The scriptures say, Yahweh, Allah, the Most High is fully aware of the righteous. The rich shall not charge any wage, but the poor may charge fairly, and Allah is aware of the wrongdoers. Those who consume the wealth of orphans illicitly consume only fire into their bellies, and they will roast in a blaze. 